you gotta take your opportunities, sheep honey. If you see a legal ram, that's it. Too. Maybe he's not exactly what you're looking for, and you probably better take him because if I mean, he if he here we chance, are fogged in. Right. If you have a chance at a good good ram, I mean my my personal opinion and experience is you gotta take the good when it's there. So we're sitting here at Wright Air, Fairbanks, getting ready to head to Coldfoot. Hey man, I'm excited, you know. It looks like we're gonna be dealing with some bad weather. But uh, all the training is gonna pay off here shortly. So we just checked our bags and uh, we were like 150 pounds overweight. So it cost us a cool $312. Five o'clock in the afternoon. Really? Yeah. So good ram. Yeah, twelve year old. That's what he said. He said he shot two nines and twelve. Yeah, twelve year old last week. So what's the terrain like that we're going to be? He said some of it's gnar, some of it's not too bad. I mean, what what uh, the, what particular part are we going to be? It looks like a golf course, just big green rolling hills. Uh huh. But it's all tundra, so it's every, oh, it's horrible. Every step you take, you lose a third of it. Right. And every time you lift your foot, it eats half your step. Right. And so you long blocks of that. Some of it can be hard. There's uh, some alders and willows, and then you can just be walking, and there'll be a steep buttress or whatever, rock. Shell stuff. Big shale. It can be. So they're down in some of the tundra, too. Yeah. Oh yeah, we see them all over the place. Um, they'll go down in the bottoms and rub their heads on willows. And really? Willows. Oh yeah. Huh. This time of year they'll go find the last green bush and that's where they'll be. They're in that kind of stuff. You're not hunting them, huh? Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How do you? Why would you not? How do you get in there? Uh, so typically they'd be at the bottom, right? The at that uh, line where the shale hits. Right there, yeah, that soft but, stuff. But every once in a while, you'll see them up on rock faces. And they'll cliff themselves out. Really? Oh yeah, and, and then, then so you down? just wait, and then they'll come back through. Oh. Well, even they get cliffed down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Huh. I just uh, flew Wes in, so. Oh, you did? He's in there? Yep. How far is it? It's 30 miles. Dude, I got a ton of stuff I've got to condense. Yeah. I got too much stuff. Yeah, he's got way too much stuff. You better get after it. Already, you're, already, you're up. I already knew that. Alright. This one can retire.
you see me tear my... <laughs> How much... You, you, a puffy and a uh, soft shell, that's all you do. Rain gear blocks the wind, you know. Oh. So. I can just put on my rain gear. Up here you'll end up wearing your rain gear most of the time. Just for that reason. Meet Wes. <laughs> this is my buddy Wes. He's, He's your buddy He's from Utah. We're fellow Utahns. From Utah. We, Pleasant Grove, Alaska. Janessa. I'm in Alaska now. I think this is a bad sign. Like, don't eat me. It'll poison or it'll kill you or something. That's wild. Look at that. Perfect frowny face. What are these things? Some jerky that what kind that Jonah had made, I believe. Look at this. Oh, he made I made that special for you. Like, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Like, I think it's uh, it's must don't be eat from me or I'll ruin it, your intestines. Or it must be from Halloween. Wow, <laughs> yeah, I told you. You're gonna wasn't seeing me flying me out of here with broken teeth. I wasn't kidding. It's like... It's, it's definitely rough. wild game. It's rough, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I said. I'll keep you busy for like an hour and a half. You know what I mean? Well, first off, they're about a decade old. I don't know what they are. It's got to be caribou. Oh, or moose. I mean, it's caribou. It's definitely wild game. Mm-hmm. That one dirty. Looks like a total different color than the other ones. The other ones are bright white. She... We got some rams. We're just here at our little spike camp. We got our trusty buddy Wes. Spot these rams coming up over the ridge. So we can't hunt until three o'clock tomorrow. Or three o'clock in the morning. Well, we can shoot them with our eyes and our cameras, right? Grizz. Oh shit, it's a grizz. I just saw it move. I'm trying to find it in the spotter. Um, it's a grizz. I just saw it move. Confirmed. these rocks. Go up above these rocks. Wolverine. Yep. <laughs> that was a giant wolverine. And then he tells me it's a squirrel. A giant squirrel. They're giant squirrels. That's pretty dang funny. We grow them big up here. There's <laughs> a big squirrel. Here I thought I found this. You were confirmed it, though. Huh? I said you almost confirmed it, though. I did. <laughs> oh, confirmed. It's confirmed. It moved. Yeah. That's a banana ram. What's a banana ram? It's a younger ram. Ram that has horns that look like bananas. Ones that Aaron would probably shoot. <laughs> <laughs> What are you eating there, Gussie? Hmm? What you got there? High Country Kit Kat. This is a genuine High Country Kit Kat. Got it at the High Country store. Said I don't think they'll go any further to the west. That's good. We're fine then. Oh, you said that to I him. Said, I said that. What do you think? And I said I don't think they'll go any further to the west. Mm -hmm. So... So we're, <clears throat> this is the first day that we can hunt after waiting the, that, what do you call it, that? It's the 24 hour, no, no, it's no same day fly. No same day fly, whatever. And so, 
Of course we're socked in. Of course we wake up. Fog but it's, in. it's early. It's seven. We're just after seven, so we got a lot of day ahead of us. But yesterday was perfect. Yesterday was perfect. I think the sun will burn this off. We'll be able to get out. You gotta take your you gotta take your opportunities, sheep honey. Like you're saying, if you see a legal ram, that's it. Too. Maybe he's not exactly what you're looking for, but you, like you were saying, you probably better take him because if he if you have here a we chance, are fogged in. Right. If you have a chance at a good good ram, I mean my my personal opinion and experience is you gotta take the good when it's there because you might get weathered in or options change, you know. Steep back. That's freaking steep. How can there not be a white sheep over there? Little buggers. Yesterday they were super low in here on this ridge. snow on the ground because that makes it tough to find sheep. So as long as it doesn't pile up on the ground we're good. I actually prefer the snow right now as opposed to rain. Yeah. It doesn't get you as wet. No. But we'll, we'll take a little snow, no fog. Yeah, a little snow, no fog. I'll take that. Yeah, that's the hardest part about sheep hunting is weather, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I mean, getting there is hard. Yeah. And then dealing with the weather is another issue. to the tippy top you have to come down yes we're already up here but i think i'm just going to go right across and just keep going up so i want to see that other draw on the other side i've got we've got to see that onward and upward right onward and upward i see two rams i swear i did Mm 
He had a horn, I saw the back of him, but he didn't look like he curled real good. But he had a little more mass than we've seen on any other one. He'll come up. I think he'll come up off that ridge. And that's frustrating, man, when that fog pushes in. Yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to find his right side. Right side's better. Let's get his head in the crick, the small one. You saying the left one's the small one? Yeah. You're sure? Not positive, but he's got his head in the crick. I can't see. The one on the left is a wider ram, but I don't think he's full curl. I don't think he is either. I haven't looked at that one on the right. Is that okay, that bow? Yeah, looks good. Climb a big mountain, it's super run time. Man, we just went, I don't know, a quarter of a mile, maybe? Oh, yeah, it's freaking. It's through the worst stuff possible. Shell stuff, it's slick, it's wet. You'll get like big pieces of shell that'll just wash out from underneath you. As soon as this clears, we'll get some get spotter. Get spotter on them, yeah. Because mm. we need to take a look at that new ram. You know what we could do, too? What's that? We could hike into the saddle and along that finger. Well, if we get to that saddle, we'll be able to see them better and tell because it's closer. I'm talking just that saddle right there. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, we can come down. 
And then, I mean, it's not that far back up if we have to go along this ridge. We got them either way because we can go down this ridge. We can go down that ridge. You know, they're not gonna... Who knows what they're gonna do? They might bed a little ways up from there like those other ones did. Day two, stuck in a tent, snowing, foggy. It's kind of what we dealt with on day one, just to repeat, maybe worse, because there's two, three inches of snow out there. So she goes, I guess, that's what they tell me, right? Kind of typical, a little early this year, maybe, but. I mean, we can't, we can't see 150 yards. 200 yards maybe yeah, it's, it's thick and there's sheep all around us there's sheep on this ridge this ridge this drainage is just chuck full of sheep and there's a lot of sheep that we haven't seen we got one shooter down here that we think well we think he may be a shooter we don't know gotta get a better look at him okay. want to make sure we're legal in fact when we were coming down to camp last night Austin was kind of making his way down and Wes was hold up there's two rams down here in the bottom, just speeding probably 150 yards in front of us. And they spooked. We we're trying to get them to spook this way. And they started to spook this way and all of a sudden they flipped and spooked the other way, which was, which was crazy. And we're hoping they didn't blow anything out of this draw, so. I don't think they were that spooked. They didn't Shouldn't spook be. hard. Shouldn't, I mean, they didn't run off, they just kind of trotted off, so they weren't busting out of the country. They weren't super spooked, is what, right? Yeah, they were super stupid. trying to kill a sheep difficult because you can't see you're freezing your rat you're fogged in it just makes it tough it makes it tough to navigate the terrain too but the sheep hunting so we just had a bunch of using rams come over the ridge or using lambs excuse me I think I just have to hold my filter in there so it's just barely sucking
another day. Yeah, my boots are for sure soaked. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> like my feet are itchy. Yeah. Well, we're going to go down to that saddle, side hill across that hill there, go down, check all these little drainages off the northwest of us here, make sure there ain't nothing in there. See what's on the back side of that little cone mountain. We'll see what happens, but maybe make it to the runway over there. So, a little bit of a hike, but good weather anyway. Yeah, it's gonna be a long ways. Hopefully, we can look at sheep along the way. Yeah. You know Hopefully what I mean? We can see some sheep down off of there or under there. So. We still may need some assistance here. Oh, big daddy. Good thing is they get lighter each day. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Keep eating. About got rid of all our heavy stuff. And I ain't got no water. I ain't got Just water either. So I got a little tiny bit of water. We'll find some water down in that saddle. This is where the first ever Arctic Grizzly died. Rest in peace, buddy. Headstone. Middle of the Arctic. Well, 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle. So one thing that's nice about the Alaskan backcountry is you don't have to pack in all your water for, you know, eight, nine days. A lot of these draws, especially this time of year, it starts to get pretty wet and you can find the water. You know, in theory, this should be pure water and you shouldn't have a problem with it. However, there has been cases of dudes, sheep hunters getting giardia. So we just take the extra measure, carry a little catadine filter. You can take an MSR filter dig a little hole where the water can pool up, let the sediment kind of settle, and then stick your little bobber in here and just kind of pump it up. You get some really good pure water. It's just not worth the risk when you're this far in the back country, especially here in the Alaska, or uh, Brooks Range, to chance, you know, getting sick. these points and look in these draws I think that's what we ought to do because nothing's on top no, nothing's on top everything's been kind of down in and we know there's a freaking ton of sheep over there you know what I mean right none of them are out you can't see them I'm, I'm not dismayed at all because I know they're down in the bottoms I feel like anyway yeah the other sheep are definitely down in the bottoms all the ones that we've seen have been low. Right. Let's hike up to this point. This one right here? Yeah, and look down into there. And then maybe... Hit the next one, huh? Go down, you know what I mean? Right. A grizzly bear down in one of them, maybe two. Find a big old gnarly grizzly bear down in one of them. Mm-hmm.
sweaty, tired, freaking wet. At least we're not wet from the rain this time. Wet from the perspiration. There's a legal ram in there. Oh yeah, I do too. He does? Yep. Bigger than the ones we've seen over there? Yep. 100%? Yep. Guaranteed. Does he curl? Oh yeah. He just gave me a good look at his... Left side? He curled. Big time. Mix up the whole thing, shake it in there, and then we'll split the water. <coughs> that other one comes full curl, dude. The smaller one. Uh, I think both of them are. Probably shooters. Better rams than we've seen for sure. Can you imagine if you didn't if you didn't get up to go pee? We never saw him. There's your cup. It's out, insane. <clears throat> God had his hand in that one. So I woke up this morning, <clears throat> went over to take a piss, and I was like, man, I'm just kind of down on yesterday, thinking, gosh, we covered all this country. That's... And uh and all of a sudden I saw two white spots over on the mountain. I'm like, shoot, if they move, they're sheep and they're so far away I couldn't tell. And sure enough, they moved. So I ran all the way back here without my shoes untied and said, please bust the rams, please bust the rams. So I grabbed it, throw them up there, and I could see a lot of horn as soon as I threw up my binos. So we grabbed the spotter and uh, we're just going to hydrate a little bit and then we're going to go get on that ram and hopefully take him out. We got osmosis here, me and Wesley, my dear Wesley. We're getting ready. Get a ram. It's game time.
back doors and headed up the other ridge. Now we got a freaking nasty climb trying to catch up to him. He's right about eight or nine. Close to full curl here. Real close. Beautiful ounce, fat. So, hey, get in here first. So. See if we can get his tip in there. Let's see a smile, Wes. Day four. Shit. Day four, what do you think? I think we've come a long way. Beautiful ram. Yeah, he's awesome. Just to chase him down? The things we did just to chase him down this morning. <laughs> I know. Victory Skittles. You want those as a sponsor? We need, we need Skittles as a sponsor. Like Marshawn Lynch got sponsored by Skittles. Like this is the Victory Skittles. Won't kill you. 
sheep heart. Sheep heart. Mm. Got the old uh, XO loaded up here. Both weapons. So far, I haven't needed the bow yet. Just been packing it around for a luxury ride. An extra 10 pounds. Last, well, today's our last full day, so we gotta find a grizzly, man. I'm thinking there's a boar in here, but we're gonna try seeing some new countries, see if that. We'll go up to where we're gonna be picked up and kind of hunt from there and hunt our way over there, so. Hopefully, we'll bump either a, a grizzly off the river as we're hiking over there or be able to glass one up once we get over there, so. I'm not giving up yet. I'd really like to take home a grizzly. Hopefully we can find some grizzlies feeding on blueberries and grass about three quarter way up the hill. So that's a strategy out of the high country into the low country. So I'm just gonna fill up some water now, make it to the top. Don't get lost. Try not to. We followed your coordinates here. 